All right, let's get right into it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Alan Wake 2. Coffee World, the most caffeinated place on Earth. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Oh, wow. Oh, the sound of that metal grinding away sounds almost like a scream ripping through the forest, doesn't it? Alright, but we've got to find that percolator and have a look around for supplies while we're at it. Uh, I think, I'm assuming it'll only let me carry this many crossbow bolts. <laughs> and is it really still horror if I'm just itching to use it on one of these guys? Uh, and another stash right there. Are we going to have to climb through the... Twelve. One, two... Oh, I see. They're all numbered. Although I wouldn't be surprised if... Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this combo has something to do with the, the numbers that are passing by. Only striped cups. Huh. And it is numerical. Just have to check because the first one used cult symbols. Only striped cups. Oh, I see. Seven. Uh, maybe we should start from the beginning, though. Alright, so that's one. Four. And what'll be, what'll be the last one? Seven. One, four, seven. Let's try that. Uh, one, four, seven. There we go. Do not take what is not yours. These things are hilarious. Uh, I mean, it, it's such a it's such an impotent warning after everything it takes to get into them. And we've extended our uh, our space yet again, which is incredibly useful. Look over here. And nothing, but we can see down to the flooded ruins below where the buoy is. I've had enough of flooded spaces. I really hope we're not going to be going down there. Uh, we're sorry. This toilet is temporarily out of order. <laughs> WTF. All the toilets are out of order. Get it together. How can one of these things even be out of order, much less all of them? We could try moving... Oh. Oh, not a literal percolator. That's the name of a ride. Well, I suppose that makes sense, given the uh, given the theme here. God, that thing is so creepy looking in a children's book sort of way, isn't it? Okay, well, this way to the percolator. Note right here. I guess we can't read it. Ooh, and safe haven over here under the gazebo. Did I just hear something stomping around on my right? I suppose this cone is meant to denote that uh, this one's not working either. Uh, I'm not sure how much I should explore or get to the point. I feel like too much exploration and we'll dwindle our resources. Fighting all kinds of folks who don't need to be fought. Which as I'd like to. More shotgun shells. How many is that now? We've got plenty. We've got plenty. That's going to be probably our primary weapon if we get overwhelmed. The Lagoon Bowling Row. Uh, I've got to imagine this place must be popping. <laughs> Literally. Oh, I can take more. It was just glitching out before. Okay, uh, wait. How do I... Alright, so let's switch to you. And... Boop! And... How long do you take to reload? Oh, wow. You've got a realistic animation and everything. Boop. 
Uh, and these bolts are reusable. Okay, well, we did that. <laughs> Was there a reason? We've come full circle. We're being invited on board. Excellent. Love it when that happens. Love it when that's the case. No possibility of an encounter here. Ow. Excuse me. I was looking at the gate when you closed it. Uh, okay. Uh, four. Oh, no. Wait. This actually takes forever. Hang on. Oh, good thing I ducked to avoid you. Okay. Turn off. And bang. And ow. And bang. And I meant to use the crossbow, but that'll work just as well. Uh, okay, three. Crossbow's actually perfect at that range. Uh. Oh, and that thing will occasionally rise up to shield you. You guys... I almost feel bad. You guys put a lot of time and thought into this, didn't you? You were really looking forward to this ambush. Good thing you had the decency to fall over on the controls. Uh, so does that mean that we can... Oh, does that mean that we can step up now? It says the screwdriver was used to fix this thing. Ah, uh, probably over here. Hey. Thank you. This should get that gift shop open. Well, let's go. Uh, all I can think of is uh, that Goosebumps special, uh, One Day at Horrorland. Never read the book, but I must have worn out the VHS. And all I can think when approaching these booths is that something's gonna pop out from behind the stand. I see you guys moving about in the shadows. Oh, look at the way you kind of alternate between unearthly lurching and just kind of strolling towards me. Hate to do it to you. Oh wait, no, no, it's not an instant kill. It's not an instant kill. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, I kind of assumed it would be. Okay, but it seems that when we hit you, when we land a hit, we don't get to recover the round. Okay. Well, in that case, we're probably better off letting you get close to us and then using the shotgun, right? No. Probably not very effective at that range. But we've got to take this methodically. Panicking is a killer. See, this is actually what I like in games, though. Fewer numbers of much tougher enemies. <laughs> Who am I kidding? They're going to spam me later. And I am not going to be ready for it when it happens. Let's jimmy this lock open. Surely in this rusting scrap heap, there was nothing else we could have used for this purpose. Now where is that safe? And also, how do you intend to open that safe? Uh, manuscript page. Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend. Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. The final fate of one of the Taken? 
Uh, look at all these uh, wood or cardboard designs. I'll be honest, these birds are actually fairly intricate. Seems like the kind of place I actually wouldn't mind spending a day, so long as uh, the prices weren't too jacked up. Uh, there's that safe. Uh, hey, Elmo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about her kid poking himself in the eye with one of the souvenir pucos. Whose grand idea was it to sell kids plastic knives in a coffee-themed amusement park anyway? Oh, right, it was yours. Jeff. I need, I need another moose favor. Mocha was doing just fine. He even got a glowing vet report, and then BAM! They say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe he just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants, either. We're telling the kids that Mocha's taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help ASAP to maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? Thanks in advance, Ilmo. Uh, so Jeff's your moose guy, huh? I need another moose favor is going to become one of my favorite lines in a game. Uh, moose favors, the official currency of Finland. Locked. Okay. What would Ilmo use for a code? Why did you change the password to the safe again? I thought it was lookout fixer supplier. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid? Yako. <laughs> the passive-aggressive notes around here, and just aggressive-aggressive notes, are really the best part of this park's charm, in my opinion. Okay, so look out, fixer, supplier. Uh, the... It's all gonna be around the room. Oh, wait, or maybe we could just get it from profiling. Intuition, a powerful thing. Ooh, or maybe over here. Hope they're not all monsters now. There's Anna. Uh, news of the week. Remember to bring your liability forms for Tuesday's Bring Your Dog to Coffee World uh, Day. Uh, congratulations to Thomas on completing his first year of Coffee World. As usual, this work anniversary earns you a free packet of freshly ground coffee. The percolator is unfortunately undergoing maintenance, but don't worry. We'll fix it as soon as possible. I need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzle, Zuma. <laughs> Why not just use keys? People love the puzzle, Zyako. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. <laughs> just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Why do I feel like the dynamic between Ilmo and Yako is very similar to that of uh, Dwight Schrute and his cousin Mose? Alright, well it goes on to say, calm down, this one's easy. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. So, if we were to... If we were to look here, lost and found, maybe tracker, uh, lookout, perhaps security and cleaner gen uh, janitor. Okay, so it would be Susan, Junis, and Victor. So maybe one, four, six? Let's try it. Oh, only a very smart person could have come up with this puzzle. All right, uh, one, four, six. There we go! The keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the colt. Ambush? No? Then I hope you won't mind if I take a save right after I grab some more supplies from that box over there. I don't know why all these, like, uh, parks department slash forestry boxes would be here in the park. Uh, maybe they just didn't bother to... Uh, Remove them when they built here. I don't see you, but I can hear you down there. Uh, I'm just having a look around because the map says that there's a container somewhere hereabouts. There you are. Oh, 
come on. I hate it when I don't have you lined up just right. And you don't want to- nope, 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 nope. No, no, don't reload, don't reload, don't reload. Is, is that really not gone off of you? I can't even tell, honestly. I think there's very little chance of us hitting you in the back right now. children's drawings, those horrifying balloons, the rides, and the moose looking rather sad holding what looks to be a cup of coffee. Probably out down here, right? Straight ahead. Huh. Always a friendly face to greet me whenever I shine a light into the darkness, isn't there? Things open up considerably now. Oh, lost cat. Posted all over. Can we please maybe have a ride? Uh, probably the ride of the one employee that was left here. The trailer park is just down the road this way. Uh, what happens if we... Uh, this must be the other side of the bridge then. I'm just trying to do as much exploring as I can, because I know that I'll be brought back here eventually anyway. Can we see anything interesting from this overlook? Huh. This bridge appears to be rebuilt, at least temporarily. Oh, wait, is this maybe the path to the lighthouse? Oh, these maps are so open. This isn't even all this, and it's not even the way we're supposed to be going. Well, I will take a save, thanks. Howdy. I'm stealthing by you, perhaps, in my best interest? Oh, there's two of you. Uh, can we jimmy this open with a screwdriver? We can. I can never tell just from your voices whether you're getting closer or not, whether you've spotted me. More cult symbols here. Yep, they are active in the area. Wait. Wait, more glowing symbols. Another locked box. Uh, but nothing to, n n no note on top of it. So it's gonna come down to a puzzle in the glowing, I think. There's more on the ground here, and one in a circle here. Hmm. Uh, for a moment, I almost thought the percolator was something of interest as part of this puzzle. Oh wait, we can see one more down there. All right, so that's a that's a one, that's a one, and the two stacked on top. Two was over. He there's yeah, there's two and three. So two stacked on top. Eh, another two stacked on top. And two side by side, facing downward. Ah, there we go. <laughs> One of them was uh, upside down. Okay. Getting the Anderson brothers on board would be a big win for us. Brothers? So I'm offering a $100 Superstore gift card plus a year's worth of free coffee at the Odier Diner to whoever gets those two to join. Let's get recruiting. That's not a... that's not a cult thing. These things are always so confusing about who they're actually even from. Uh, okay. What are you? What do you- wait, what do you do? 
a stash found at the watery lighthouse. But what, what is that? Hang on. Propane tank. Throwable gas canister detonates when shot, inflicting heavy damage to anything nearby. Alright, well, obviously I'm not just going to play a game on this channel and then not go to the lighthouse, right? I mean, right? Always takes more than one. Yep. No, no, no. You don't seem to be as deterred by these things as I would like. Hang on. I've got pistol for you. Eh. I'm running through this battery far too quickly. Okay, yeah, I'm not a tremendous fan so far of the crossbow in the context of fighting you guys. I mean, it's good at a distance, but not so much for a damage output. Not that it's weak. It's not what I need in multi-enemy encounters. Oh, God. Oh, it's the return. It's the return of the speedies. Ow. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted. Anything to be seen here? I mean, after the symbolism in the first game, this almost feels like I'm completing a sort of pilgrimage. And perhaps others felt the same. A little clothes pindle. Okay. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. What's the purpose of these things? According to this, they'll help solve a puzzle. Need the key. The key. Uh, don't suppose. Nope. It says they'll help solve the puzzle. A camera on some chalk drawings. Watching out over the park? Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. An old watcher of the sea, before his demise, cursed the waters that ruined his eyes. So he played a trick on the ocean deep, the waves to fight and havoc to wreak, and in doing that wrong, lost his soul's song. Oh, I see. Alright, so I have to come back to here again because the GPU thing was acting up again. Uh, so we got to fight through you. And now there are three of them. So that's always cool. Uh, right. You come for me. Flashlight, not super useful at a tremendous distance. Uh, I can't. It's so hard to keep the light on you. There we go. Uh, so a headshot uh, will sometimes be an insta-kill. A whole lot in the way of cover. Yeah, I hear you moving around. They're so hard to track. Now, and sometimes they'll just throw stuff through a tree and get me. Uh, die. And sometimes you'll do it even while staggered. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for playing. Now, of this one, you remark, What is this setup? Why the tripod? Some kind of experiment? Huh. I'm guessing that whatever this whole thing is, it'll probably end up leading to the key to this lighthouse. Uh, this game has so much stuff going on on the side. Well, if we head this way, we should end up basically making our way toward the trailer park, right? Or that can always use more heals. And each of these abandoned campsites kind of represents another taken out there, doesn't it? Hi there, Pat. Ah, 
that, that's, that's not Wendy. No, this is Jim Figamore. Remember, we were going to do the announcement today. Oh, is that, was that today? Listeners, we have Jim Figamore with us and the director of the Bright Falls Community Theater. And, and I'm here to announce that the theater will be losing one of its most dignified thespians as I, Jim Figamore, will be running for mayor. Ooh, Sutter better watch out. Well, that's uh, quite a, an announcement, Jim. Just let me find my notes here. I have some questions written down for you. The real question is what happened to this town. Bright Falls used to draw in thousands of tourists with its vibrant art scene and impressive bird feeders. And what's our reputation now? Haunted Bright Falls. Spooky Bright Falls. The world is laughing at us. Is that a bad thing? And now all this business with the FBI? We need a mayor who can turn this town's reputation around. And nobody knows more about the role of mayor than I do. I played one in the theatrical production of Fiorello to glowing reviews by Coffee World magazine. Mayor Setter is a joke. And you know what? I hear he kills cats. There. I said it. Now, Jim, this is a family show. Ah, I found my notes here, so so why don't we pivot to some questions? First question, what exactly goes into that delicious beef jerky? Uh, right, so it looks like these are my questions for Wendy Davis of Davis Family. Finally, we get back to the plot thread I cared about. The only jerk I care about is Mayor Setter. Our future's at stake. Pets are being murdered. And it's time for a change. Jim Figamore for mayor. That concludes our program today. Oh my god, I listened to that whole thing. We never found out what's going on with this Wendy. My first watery visit. I'm staying near the lighthouse trailer park at a nice little spot just off the road. And it's very quiet here during the day. At night, not so much. I've never been too nervous and can sleep through an earthquake. But here... I don't know. Something just feels off. The animals act weird. They're restless at night, making weird noises and running away. And I could... And I could swear I hear someone moving around. Circling. I'm gonna give it one more night and then move on. You didn't make it through that night, did you? See, I feel like in the first game, there was a really weird sense that even though all of this crazy stuff was so obviously happening, it just didn't feel like it because nobody else was really acknowledging it. But here, it's a lot more subtle in the way it creeps up on this town. And we do get more concrete hints that people are aware of it. Page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. Yep. <laughs> I got the old uh, D programmer here. Um. Now let's see what we've got around here. Got the key. We've got yet another campaign poster. Mayor Setter is not afraid of the rough questions. Mayor Setter is not afraid of the rough questions. Well, something tells me he wasn't going to be getting any rough questions, at least not on Matt, uh, Pat Main's show. Take it out. Carve it out. Huh. It's a nice neighborhood, but the neighbors suck. Any reason why we might want to go around? Well, flooded swamps are one good reason not to explore too far off the beaten path. Make our way home. Oh my god, it's them. Never mind, never mind, the neighbors are awesome.
You guys were too old and demented to take care of yourselves 13 years ago. True. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. Not the hell of it! <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? They always did. How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Oh my god, I never made that connection. Gods. So good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin, and this is your long lost Murfar, Tor. Sarasoga. He is your grandfather, and I am the old father. <laughs> Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. Huh. That is such an interesting way to take this, and I didn't even consider it. I mean, to be honest, I had forgotten that they were the Anderson brothers, but still. Nursing home. Your name is Anderson? Same as you, kiddo. Tor Anderson? Odin Anderson? The old gods of Asgard. That's our band. You're... You are Saga Anderson, goddammit. A Viking goddess. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Tor. Odin. Saga. All Norse-inspired. Plus the same last name. A coincidence? Did the horror story change their names to match mine? Uh... <laughs> to be honest, I can't remember if they were always the Andersons. Or if we were always Anderson. Uh... What about the Cult of the Tree? Have you seen any strange people in deer masks? I haven't drunk enough for that yet. You can see all sorts of wonderful things when you make your way down the bottle. Even more so with just one eye. Okay. Never mind. It looks like you two have had a bit too much fun. She sees right through us, bro. She has the power. This calls for a fucking celebration! Our little saga all grown up and finally home. Sure, we've had a few sips. Just a taste. The famous Anderson moonshine. Oh, the nectar of the gods. You want some? No, thanks. So, do you know where the Anderson trailer is? Right behind us. We've been looking after it since you left. Uh-huh. Thanks for your help. Anytime, kiddo. 
She said that they don't seem to be affected by the story the same way as anyone else. <laughs> and maybe it's something to do with that old moonshine, but... Also, they were the same way in the first game as well. I mean, that's why I was listening to that lady in the park, because if you listen to the ramblings of the crazies and creatives in this town, usually that's how you arrive at the truth. Uh, but over here, I'm seeing all the stuff that would lead to a lunchbox. If I can only find it. Uh, here we are. Kids lunch boxes? Uh, you can overcome adversity and achieve your goals. Uh, sounds like a poster that would be on the wall in my elementary school. Oh no, they're actually giving me firearm upgrades. That actually is much more meaningful. Thank you. Mom never talked about her family. Huh, so I suppose it's not impossible that we could be related to them. I mean, we know we have Swedish ancestry. Um, we're lucky. It seems the rest of the trailer park is totally flooded. Although, once again, if we look down that way, it looks like there's a light maybe still on in one of those trailers somewhere, like somebody's inside. Well, let's have a look at our home, allegedly. Huh. When you look at it this way, it's almost like Odin and Tor like keepers of my part of the timeline. Like it was trying to lead me astray, and they were here to make sure that I landed softly. Reeks of booze. Addressed to me. From years ago. Wake was right. The horror story is changing reality. Not just people's memories. $48.02 for a power bill. This really is a fantasy game. This card has mom's handwriting. A little bird told me that it's your birthday. So be sure to give yourself some special tweet mint. I love you, Logan. Grandma F. There was a bird on the, uh... There was a bird on the chalk drawings up there. Uh, anything else? Wow, beer truly everywhere. Everything here reminds me of Logan. This could be her room. This is getting too real. Too personal. Uh, Connie Chu, The Wildlife of the Pacific Northwest, The Kind Stranger, The Very Old House, The Ribbon-Hearted Girl. The Nordic Tales book Mom gave to Logan when she was little. It is her room. Junior, spe junior Federal Agent Logan Anderson. Logan's Junior Agent Certificate. So cute. Bon. Logan used to love her music. This is where our crazy board starts to become a real crazy board. I mean, how would we even present this to the Bureau? This now concerns us directly. But this begs the question, if the story has changed enough to allow this place to exist, I feel like we should be making some calls right about now. My newfound relatives. Cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker. In the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. I was hoping to be more of a fight. Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Costello brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home. Right after I find this biker workshop. No. It's... 
it's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. Logan's back home. She's fine. Fuck. She's at school. David. I'm in the story and it's coming true. Wake said Scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. But he said there's still time to stop this. That he can stop this with a clicker. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David? Is Logan okay? Call me back as soon... of allies is diminishing. No. Mulligan is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? Oh, uh, but absolutely, this is how you do a horror story. I mean, in the panic of the character, in the way it was revealed to us, the Four movement two. of the camera, and just God the frantic pace of the scene. Another old take. You actually feel what she's going through in that scene. This is why you direct this is why you direct game scenes as if you were directing a movie, because it makes it land like that. Other games have tried to have similar story beats, but they would just be you looking at a note, and that would be all there is to it. The headline about Logan wasn't real. Don't think about it. The cold has the clicker. Get it? Fix this. And even as I was just about to criticize this for seemingly changing gears so quickly, uh, along comes a line to set that at ease. She's She knows that's all she can think about, but she's trying to put herself in the mindset to not be distracted and deal with this. Oh my god. Okay, stop doing that. That's honestly really annoying. It's to the point of, like, parody now. Anything we can grab from over here before we go in? I think now would actually be a real good time... Come on. Ah, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I think now would be a real good time to equip that thing we got earlier. Where is it? Alright, we reloaded. You can unlock this gate. Stand in the safe haven. That's the well. That's the one from the note. We can only get so close, and perhaps for good reason. Uh, the Huatari Well from 1913. Legends say this is the dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, who lures people to their watery graves. In the early days of Watery's history, this very well where was where Ilmari Huatari hid the bodies of his victims with the help of his brother Yakapi Huatari. It was only after Ilmari murdered his own brother that their gruesome acts came to light. But was it madness or the spirit of Naki possessing Ilmari that drove him to murder, like he himself believed? Is there more to this well than meets the eye? I'm starting to piece something together between this and the sign talking about the witch. I mean, this sounds like something that Ilmo and Yaka made up, but it's also possible, right, that the Dark Presence being what it is, it uses that fiction to create something real, right? Okay, well, we may not have that explosive we could have used, but I say... We've at least got a few good shotgun shells in us, right? This is the workshop from the photo with the cultists. This is where they had the clicker. If it's still here, I need to find it. Yep. But I do hear stepping about. Oh, I wish we had more battery. This place looks very conspicuously lit. Sorry. Sorry. 
Thank you, that's just what I needed. Maybe in the back office? Another padlock. There's always a padlock, isn't there? Uh, thanks everyone for your valuable input. I'm assuming that means Saturday Night Sauna is on? Sauna is good for the body and the soul. You may not like it, but it likes you. And all condiments are welcome, of course. Uh, hey Elmo, I can't find the new door lock combination. Look inside the smiley coffee cup doesn't help me. Ilmo, ignore Fred. He doesn't have what it takes. And he's wrong about ketchup, too. It's obviously chili mayo or nothing. Not everyone enjoys frying themselves to death, Ilmo. And who would pick mustard over ketchup? Huh? I suggest we start a regular sauna night now that the old place... Oh, we're working backwards? Eh. Okay, well, either way. This is your final warning to stop taking the OOP out of the assembly hall. You want to get drunk in the workshop? Fine, but the OOP is for ritual use only. You idiots are worse than my kids. I've seen some of your you place our stashes in the open. Please don't do that, you rascals. Okay, wait, hang on. All seemingly good people involved with this cult, all the cultists being taken... And the weird language used in some of these cult notes. I'm starting to think that maybe it's just adopting the language of this basically, like, playful cult and using it in Taken Ramblings. No. Logan's not dead. You just crossed this out. And that's another thing about the scene. Not even identifying how far it's progressed, not even giving us an answer. We have no idea if it's too late or not. Okay, well, we're not doing anything until we find this so-called smiley cup. Oh, wow, these guys really knew how to set up a good hangout spot. And another deer. Such a uh, look at how our fingers, like, actually disappear into the hair. It's a good thing lots of people leave these things around. Ah, uh, right there. Uh, so, up and down. And then these things are right here. But how do we know where to read from? And they were in possession of another manuscript page. Hey, stop right there. The shape stumbled out of the dark toward Deputy Mulligan. Thornton was doubled over, coughing. A chunk of cold pastrami caught in his throat. Bring it, fucker. Mulligan fired. Thornton hacked the pastrami out of his windpipe. Opened fire with his partner. The monster fell. They kept shooting. The thrill of domination. This was the cult of the tree. Not one tree. A forest. Secret knowledge in a deer mask. The last line of defense. yippee ki motherfucker. Bright Falls fucking finest. They crept over, pulling out their flashlights. The horror. This is Monica from the tackle shop. An innocent woman. Thornton's pastrami came back up. There we go. This is the cult hideout. Their headquarters, even? All hosted by Bright Falls Zone Coffee World. Well, here's our save. Would have been useful two seconds ago before, like, the fourth restart of this part. Uh, okay, info dump. That light switch you found washed up at the lake is not junk. It's important. Trust me on this. From now on, whenever we catch a target, we're gonna cut out its heart, stick this thing inside, and flick it. I know it sounds weird, but just trust me. 
It'll be like a ritual. This is gonna work. Okay, well, there goes my theories. The Nightingale ritual wasn't completed. Everyone please read. I'm not trying to play the blame game, but we cannot let random tourists walk right into one of our rituals. We were stopped before we got to use the clicker. The lights weren't even set up yet. It's unacceptable. So let's look at the learnings. We need to be faster with our setups. We need to be 100% positive someone is on lookout duty. Communication, communication, communication. Slip-ups like this are why we have FBI agents snooping around, which is not great. I'm only being harsh about this because I know we can do better. I think I've got it. I was actually right in the beginning. I think they're looking for returned taken, and they're activating the clicker inside their chest, knowing their power and, I guess, banishing them. Nightingale being able to come back was because they didn't get to finish. In other words, good job, bookers. You ruin everything. Some vacation, huh? I've marked the map like you asked. That's all the stashes. By our last count, locked, loaded, and ready to go. Uh, can we the cult grab is that? Leaving supplies around for themselves. Useful. The cult isn't well organized. People aren't following orders. Read. To whoever has been sabotaging Lake House equipment, stop it. If you're looking for ways to help the cult, this is not it. Unless bringing the feds down on us is what you consider helpful, in which case you can piss right off. Stay away from the FBC. And if you see them poking around again, report it to the Grand Master. So, that's it. They're not... The FBC isn't involved with this. This will be handy. Thank you. Thank that's you. It. This is the cult's process. Their ritual. Surround the target. Subdue them using hammer or other blunt object. Restrain them. Carve out their heart and recite the words. Put the clicker into their chest. Flick the switch two times to make sure it works. Remember floodlights. On tripods, we need to see what we're doing. Always work in pairs. You know, when they had said tripods in the beginning, I don't remember if I said it or not, but I, I meant to say or for lights. Uh, some notes on the table here as well, and what looks like a fuse? A fuse. Could come in handy. Huh. We've just solved a puzzle we didn't even know we were trying to solve yet, I think. Uh, and a whole bunch more documents. This is one weird cult. Some documents that they took from the FPC. We are the cult of the tree. We watch in the night. I see it now. This is our mission. Make the woods scary again. It's a tree. A spruce tree. Keep them out, keep them safe. Together we are a forest. Cult of the tree. Observation report. Subject cult of the tree. This must be from the FPC. Intermittent surveillance of the of the paracriminal group known as the Cult of the Tree shows that their operation is limited to a small area of Washington State. So not re related to the Cult of the Word. The group is reported to be made up of dedicated individuals equipped with only common tools. Overall level of organization is low. Overall comprehension of redacted is low. Our assessment yielded a category orange risk status. Further inquiries should be made as to the exact details of the sources of their knowledge regarding paranatural elements. Huh, so they're almost like an SCP Foundation. Investigation unit recommends the Cult of the Tree be kept under permanent surveillance, with preparations made for the group's arrest and seizure of assets. See blah 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 for full report and recommended action, blah blah blah. Dr. Marmon and Dr. Marmon at the Cauldron Lake Research Site as both operate in a shared area. Uh, addendum. Recommended action downgraded to continued intermittent surveillance. No arrest due to prioritization of resources. Rose. She's that waitress from the diner. What about Rose? Oh, they're watching her. This is from 2014. Leaves home in car, arrives at Odeer Diner, opens restaurant, spills coffee, stares at coffee puddle and seems suddenly delighted. 
begins talking animatedly to the puddle. She never broke free. Back from break, ate a sandwich and wrote in a notebook, stares at ceiling for 50 seconds smiling, leaves on foot, leaves on foot but got there in a car, stops at pier and writes a notebook, stares at clouds and becomes upset, shaking her head and speaking up at the sky, arrives at car and enters, goes home, watches TV, goes to bed and reads the sudden stop before turning off the light. You were right. They are watching us. And our level of organization is fine. They don't know what they're talking about. Uh, so they were formed to deal with this threat. But the FBC watches over all and is basically seeing them as little more than a nuisance. There's a basement. Let's see what's down here. It doesn't sound good. Well, the cult of the tree is no more, it seems like. Hey! Freeze! Oh lord, that image. Oh, how I'd like to have that thing to toss up on stage and just blow them both up. Oh, look at this. No way. They're gonna be right behind me, aren't they? Yeah. No. Or JPEG jump scare in front of me. They're playing with me. I was so close. We have the opportunity to do some profiling. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here, like there was at Cauldron Lake. Mulligan and Thornton are like Nightingale. Inside, waiting, and a parade float is the key. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the O's in OOP is overlap. Uh... A Taken is upstairs. This was a trap. Sounds like a big one, too. Let's go face whatever's out there. Both of you are just one. You're funneling me. You're doing a funny funnel job. Oh my god! Uh, let's, uh, let's... Hit you. Get some more. And a blast! And a blast! Oh my god, it's still not enough. Okay, reload, reload, reload. Okay. Now where's that parade float? Oh no. And more of the evil objects, of course, they're back. Well, let's blast them. Is this the parade float the page mentioned? So does it want us to maybe <laughs> climb into this well? It looks like there's a tape recorder or something right there. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem in the heart to the witch sign opened the overlap. Here, it's a parade float. But it's incomplete. This is one disturbing parade float. I don't hear any haunting laughter. Well, maybe we could. 
if we just, you know, played with this recorder right here. It says investigate the parade float area. Hmm. So this is the Coscula Brothers parade float. Looks like only four pieces are missing. The mask is the only one without a location listed. Okay. Uh, the motor control circuit board is in Espresso Express. Uh, some stuff in the gift shop. shop. Easy. I can't make out what it says. Uh, well, that one's... Espresso Express. Got it. Fair trade fun zone. Well, at least we had that gate going back. It shouldn't be too hard. For puzzles like this, I'm not going to bother placing everything on the board, because I feel like that like really just kills the pacing. Uh, but in times like this, I can always just uh, have a look around and know that it'll add them all when we're done. Ooh, there's another occult thing right here. Another locked box. Uh, what hides behind the smile? What hides behind the smile? It's one of those cups and something going over its head. You there. <laughs> uh, it's one of these metal archways. Well, let's have a look then. You said, what hides behind the smile? Perhaps something in this direction? Maybe something in the cups? You guys like hiding stuff in those. Wait, is there something here? Coffee World stash key! Cool! Oh, so some of them, it is just a key. Yellow didn't come up with all of these. Howdy. You weren't here before. You're more job for this, though. What are you doing standing in the light like that? Isn't that a little out of character? Also, I don't understand why sometimes this doesn't seem to want to work. And there's two of you. It's a cultist. Why does this sometimes not work correctly? I don't understand. Hang on. I'm wasting so much right now. Okay, so sometimes it works. Uh, does it need to be in line of sight of your back then? Uh, I'm totally out of battery. Maybe what we need to do is dodge. Fucking monsters. Uh, so I can't, I guess sometimes I just can't tell that your thing is down. I don't know, that's really deeply confusing me right now. Thank you for all the stuff, please. Thanks, thanks. Uh, the game the game feels bad for me. Let's collect from that stash. At least they didn't get any damage on me. Here you are. There we go, that's the stuff we need. Now one of the things we needed was right over here by the uh, Espresso Express. And I guess you take what you can come up with when you're designing a coffee-themed amusement park. Although I have to say, it's quite an operation, considering... Once again, these are all numbered. Are we going to have to start this up? No, we will not. No power. Must be a fuse box around here somewhere. And I have got just the thing. If we have a look around the lower area, yep, here we are. The fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. Got you. That's just what we need is more of these things operating in the dark.
Well, considering it's got to wind down, that's not the easiest thing. Ah, uh, there we go. At least it didn't leave it down to a timing puzzle. Yep, what's the worst that can happen down here? I mean, I ask you. Look at all these batteries it gave me. This game felt so bad for me in that last encounter. Well, here's... something. The control box for the ride itself, but it doesn't seem to be letting me interact with anything. Oh god, something's bursting through these beams at some point. What's missing from the parade float? Oh, wait! I need to put it together. Wait, the thing isn't there until I go in and put it on the case board? Are you kidding? Oh, that is so dumb. Alright, well, here we go. Now we've got the circuit board. And now things, life's gonna get all, like, bad for Shit. us and stuff. Go, 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 go! And another manuscript page left behind. Oh, I don't feel like I have time for that right now. Now, we did actually have some profiling still to be done, didn't we? Mulligan and Thornton were fine earlier. How did this happen? Terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. Bright Falls fucking finest. Shitty pastrami sandwich. Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like ilk. The thrill of domination. Not one tree. A forest. The word. A secret like this doesn't die. There is more than one leader. The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never failed to amuse me. No, we know, Ilmo. There is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the Moose Skull mask is. I love how in these, like, Dead serious, almost David Fincher-esque scenes, it delivers the best comedy I've ever seen. The mask is missing. Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. Most steak is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done. They know where it is. I know they know. Where is the mask? Bully it and bleach it. We all bow to him. The mall of the crumbling well. Show the bitch who's mom! The well. The moose mask is at the Huatari well. In Coffee World. Okay, now this is an aspect of the game that I think I talked about it earlier, but it's starting to wear on me a little bit. It's here. For the simple reason that, uh, for the simple reason that it's, for me. literally the sixth or seventh time it's causing that GPU spike. And also because it just, it, I feel like it breaks way too often to tell us what we already know. I mean, it is really, really cool. It is, presents in a really awesome way, and sometimes it's really helpful, but other times, ah. 
Oh, got the moose skull mask. Now I need to bring the mask to the float. Okay, well, enjoy that in like four FPS. The moose skull goes here, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Alright, well, something was at the gift shop as well, right? If we can make our way over there, we can find something else? Seeing a dark shimmer that wasn't here before. I guess a toy knife will do. Hmm. See? Call back to earlier. That is what we call in the industry a brick joke. Uh, now what else? Uh, all we need is, well, I guess there is still something we need here. And there was something at the fair trade fun zone as well. And after that, we'll have all four things, right? Okay, it was down here someplace. Somewhere in amongst these booths. It's gotta be. Jesus! <laughs> Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. <laughs> Have a beautiful day! There we go. Thank God. Uh, see, that's a better jump scare than the JPEGs that keep splashing on my screen. But, let's see. We've got, we've got the moose mask. We've got the circuit board, the tape recorder, and the knife. That should be good, right? Ah, oh, great. Yep, you're not really what we need to be dealing with right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, uh, wrong gate. Wrong gate! Okay, I guess we are dealing with you. I hate these speedy ones so much. I'll tell you what, let's force you to go through me, huh? There we are. Bang. And bang. Oh, the gore in this is exquisite. Yeah, this was, uh, this was the moose's pen, was it? You should probably be getting a move on. We've got everything we need, and we can get this portal to the overlap working! Uh, wouldn't be a horror game if somebody didn't crawl out of this well, would it? So sometimes you'll just do that, huh? I don't know if that's a bug or one of your powers. It kind of works either way. I think there's somebody else moving. Yep. Oh, wait. Unfortunately, I'm not getting much opportunity to actually hit that point. But there we go. And you give us some 12 gauge. I guess enemies are going to start dropping stuff now, eh? Alright, let's go. Circuit board. A little something to get those arms moving. The knife. There's your knife. And finally, the cassette tape. Some creepy laughing for atmosphere. Okay, Saga. Let's get the clicker from these assholes. Hope we're ready for a fight. Uh, maybe we should do some healing before we go in there. As I said, equip.
Dark, dark, dark. <clears throat> what the hell? <clears throat> Where am I? It's like a mine or something. Oh, why do you have to walk so slowly when you're aiming down the sights? You're not going to keep your gun up at all times in these quarters. Oh, you're lucky it's not completely flooded. But we have once again entered the overlap. That much is clear. Do you want a more viable melee weapon? Probably better than punching, right? I don't think we've used that attack on a single taken thus far. Uh, this game is reminding me so much of a game I played recently called Wempo. Actually sort of fitting, isn't it? Given its ties to Finnish mythology. Okay, I meant to close it the other way, but you do you. Have another manuscript page. I'd love to give you a listen, but I'm worried about having to restart the game again. A sauna. In fact, a replica of the one that was up in Watery. Or maybe it's just a reused asset. Who knows? Uh, but what else is the point of this place? I see that lucky horseshoe up over the wall. Where are we going? Well, we can continue ever deeper into the forest. And of course, no map of the place. It's eerie. I mean, you enter this place, and I was just going to talk about how eerie the silence is, how it's bad guy central, and the silence is just deafening, but here we are. Oh, that's them. The, the air is so humid and moist that uh, it, it's catching the light. It's actually making it almost harder to see in some ways. So each time we enter the overlap, there's going to be guardians. Nightingale, the guardian of his. These two, the guardians of theirs. Logan? Logan! No. No, 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 no. Logan! Ignoring her was the right call last time. It's gotta be the right call this time, right? It's not gonna give us a choice. We're gonna end up just like that staff member at Coffee World. <laughs> These wells are recursive. A well within a well within a well within a well. We've been climbing down an awfully long time. Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. Once again, Saga, one of your more admirable traits is your willingness to Anderson, the accept these things. Wake? I saw him this way in the other overlap. <clears throat> It's a loop. Just like before. I'm starting to think that Wake's story is going to be... Ooh, is going to be ending where we brought him out. And that each of his segments is going to end where we enter the overlap. Thus, thus confirming the idea that time isn't exactly linear here. Can we really not have a look at you? Perhaps there will be something new in the sauna this time. 
Well, it seems like just maybe it's gotten a little bit darker. And will you begin to taunt us in that same place again? How many loops did we go the first time? I can't remember. It's been so long. Or maybe you'll just come for us now. God, they are really using that overlay effect to great, well, effect. It really is. The way it comes across, it's like seeing something double. Like, simultaneously, it's there and isn't. Yep. This is a nightmare. I would really like it if you'd stop doing that, please. I, that. I need to look for another way through. Are you hearing that music? It's like it's stopping and starting again deeper and deeper into the woods. What is that light? Is that the moon? Why am I trying to find logic in this? Strangely enough, that song is almost comforting in a time like this. I'm actually, like, I actually dislike it when it stops. What an image. It's brought us right back. And now it's leading us this way. The way we entered from. And to a campsite. Are you starting to stock me up? Maybe we'll need it. But you're not going away this time. Nope, nope. That's what I thought. Where are you? There. God, that was satisfying. And we saw your mask shatter with that headshot, but uh, you don't seem to... Uh, you don't seem to have been compliant in letting me see who you were. God, after all that time, that scare you popping out hit me like a truck. Is that the device right there that's playing it? Am I meant to just head back now? No, you don't. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. There we go. One headshot with the shotgun will bring you down. And we've got plenty. Your axe was uh, eager to continue the fight, it seems. A little more dedicated to the cause than you were. But that is three more cultists down. But it's continuing to guide us. Uh... 
that laughter. Oh. It's like it was coming from the water. This is so far beyond what they would have trained me for at Quantico. And once again, it brings me back. Multiple instances of looping, it seems. Will the way be clear now? It will. It's like it wants me to jump through all kinds of hoops before it'll even allow me to press forward. But it does allow me to press forward, suggesting that there is some type of logic to this. I mean, Ilmo and Jakob wanted to come here. But that's no longer water. What does that mean? Things are getting so much worse here. It's saved. It's saved. Why would you do that, game? Why would you do that to me? I can't tell if there are lights on in the cabin still. Oh, there are. Okay. I'm starting to think that this loop is probably the last one. And whatever this is getting at, we're about to find out. Oh, more... more stuff. Here it is. Here's the boss fight prep. And I have a feeling we're gonna be dealing with two speedy boys. Two very powerful speedy boys. I imagine they're stronger here than they are in the real world, which is why they didn't engage me there. The music is given away entirely to laughter. Oh, that same horrid laughter that we had to get from behind the coffee cup. Howdy! Oh, I'm sorry. Was that not the part where I'm allowed to hit you? All right, reload, reload, reload. Ow! Oh, you've got a, you just got a straight up gun. Okay. Keep dodging, keep dodging, keep dodging, keep dodging, keep dodging. Stop! Did we got to get rid of these things. Oh, come on! What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Where are you? You're up there. Okay, I'm imagining that I've got to destroy these, right? But I can't do that while you're doing that. I'm just gonna let them kill me so I don't have to lose my stuff. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't destroy those things. It took like a full battery and it still didn't work. Uh, it seems like it's dependent on not trying to hold and get my crosshair on it, but of just not moving my light at all once I've started. Come on. All right, I can try taking cover, but does do all these things have cover? I mean, it depends on where you are, I guess. I stand here. Can I hit it from here? There we go. All right, so we've got to find the right cover then. It needs to be someplace where we can actually safely stand still relative to you. There we go. Now you're up here, which means that in order to get this, we really can't while you're there, I think. And of course... This game being this game, you never know what'll actually count. The over-the-shoulder view and all, yep. Let's try over here. That tree's not gonna count. Okay, great. If we're right under you, can you still hit us? Answer, yes. Yes, you can. Right, we need to get behind, like, a rock or something, but now I can't see. There we go. I think it's just what we need, but you're gonna have to move now. Where's the rest of these things? Can I get you to move from there? There we 
go. Which means here we go. Which means oh, I'm still not going to be able to. There we go. Next time they won't be coming back. What do you mean next time they won't be coming back? What what's going on now? Yep. Now we fight you directly. Bang. We're gonna run low on these shotgun shells. Uh, firefight with Taken. I should have known, but that's one of them down. Only one more. Oh, and you're gonna do the cheatiness. Alright, we're close. We we can we can do this. So how is this gonna play out? What happens if I do try to take a shot from here? And if I do, I'll use the crossbow. I'll run for it is what you'll do. I'm poke our head out. Fire a shot. That did hit you. I should not have started reloading right here, but I guess it worked out for us. So that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a cat and mouse. You fire, I fire. Oh, we were actually meant to shoot him up there. Saga Anderson, listen. Wake? I, I've been tricked. Scratch room. I tried to fix the story, but... Has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? You're already out. So is Scratch. Silver. 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 making progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. yes. You know it's working. You just need to keep going. Did you put my family in the horror story? I keep seeing him in overlaps, but he's already out. Are these visions coming from the past? When he was still trapped in the dark place? I have the clicker. I can stop this nightmare. stopping this we'll have to wait until next time and man that encounter i mean it was a little janky because i'm still having a lot of trouble with this splash light mechanic and actually getting it to stay on something for the entire duration of its use i mean sometimes it's like the animation just takes you out of what you were already aiming at and it ruins the attack but Either way, it goes into what I was saying before about how everything, every encounter, is different. And that gunplay is quite satisfying. Uh, blasting a shotgun and having them go head over heels is absolutely amazing. But we've learned a lot in this part, a ton, where everything was so confusing before. We learned about the cult, we learned some more about the history of this place, and how the overlap works. Oh, we're getting closer. It feels like we're finally starting to learn something, where before it felt like we were only just scratching the surface. And now we've got the clicker, and who knows what opportunities that'll open up. But that will have to wait until next time. Until then, if you liked this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.